Hi friends, Anu here for HD Tech video. Today we are going to flash Team Hagson's CM9 Alpha for Galaxy S build number 15. They provided four files. One is ROM, another one Google App, and next one Face Unlock, and the final one Google App Fixer. And he provided the installation guide. I am running on Darkis 10.2.2 and I copied the four zip files into my internal SD card. Now I am going to reboot into recovery. Suppose if you are running on stock ROM then flash a custom kernel that support clockwork mode recovery uh, you can flash sama for for getting clockwork mode after that you can copy the zip file and then boot into recovery from recovery you can install this rom So once you boot into recovery, you have to do wipe data bar factory reset. Then wipe cache partition. Finally, go to advanced then wipe dial cache and go back install SIP from SD card choose SIP from SD card select update CM9 SIP file yes Now you can see I am facing boot loop, so I am going to remove the battery. Now put it back, again boot into recovery. Install SIF from SD card, choose SIF from SD card, select the same SIF file. So now the installation finished. Now we can install the optional uh, Google add-on, choose from SD card, Google Apps, So after installing the Google add-ons, again you have to do the wipe.
now select reboot system this first boot may take time so be patient now the installation finished and phone is rebooted now we can check in system settings we can see some new options launcher here we can set the home screen number of home screen and we can select default screen transition effects and some general settings auto rotate screen we can enable or disable from general setting and we can select the themes currently there is nothing and system settings here we can select notification drawer here there is a lot of options and status bar lock screen wallpaper and font size and in advanced we can do the color tuning and the TV out settings in security we can change the lock screens face unlock is there we install the separate zip file after flashing the row so it's there we can check the synchronization synchronizing the contacts and mail it's also working now we can check the version GTI 9000 Android version 4.0.3 baseband XS JVT and Cyanogen mode version 9 Hope you guys enjoy this video then please do comment and subscribe. Thank you.